Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Gabby. Good evening, Juan. Good evening, Catherine. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Catherine. How are you, Gabby? Very well, teacher. Excellent, very good. Always smiling. Usted siempre está contenta, Gaby. Excelente. Yes, very good. Yo me estoy asustada. <laughs> Son los nervios, tío. All right. No, así pasa, Catherine. I mean, Gaby. All right, let me check. Welcome back, everybody, to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you today. Let's get started, all right? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Ya terminaron la sección 2 completamente? ¿Ya vamos por la mitad de la sección 3? Yes, no, teacher. Yes, teacher. Se yes, okay. La 3. Ah, oh, very good, excellent. Yeah. Excelente. ¿Se me escucha bien el audio, Gaby? Sí, teacher. Ok, excellent, very good. Sí, yo dije, no, quizás no me contestan porque no se escucha bien. <laughs> All right. Now, everybody, let's get started. We are in class number six. All right, beginner two. Let's check. Let's move on. Do you remember, my dear students? Se recuerda. Let's check. Number one, mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture. Let's see, vamos a iniciar con, bueno, vamos a ver, primero vamos a decir good evening to Samuel, Marlon, and Carla. Good evening, guys. Good Welcome. Evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, okay. Now, let's get started with, vamos a ver, dice la pregunta número uno, mencione al menos Tres palabras del vocabulario relacionadas con furniture, con mobiliaria. All right. <coughs> Vamos a iniciar con Samuel. Ok, Samuel, dígame tres palabras. Este vocabulario ya de la semana pasada. Uh, mirror, table, refrigerator. refrigerator. Uh -huh. Excellent, Samuel. Thank you. Let's listen to Marlon. Aha, Marlon, tell me three vocabulary words that you remember. I don't know, say is correct. Lamp light. Lamp, uh -huh. lamp, lamp light. Um, mm -hmm. Bed. Yeah. And I don't know. Um, Teníamos como 20, como me va a decir, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> curtain. Curtains. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Gabby. Aha, Gabby. Let's check if you remember. Hey, yes, teacher. Refrigerator, microwave, stove, mirror. Uh -huh. Excellent. Repeat after me, Gabby. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excellent. Very good job. Very good. Now, let's go to question number two. Nos vamos a la pregunta número dos. Mention at least three jobs that you learned last class. <coughs> Se recuerdan que la clase pasada, o sea, ayer, veíamos los jobs, all right? Decíamos que eran trabajos o también llamados profesiones. Let's listen to, vamos a pedirle a Maybelline que nos diga tres palabras relacionadas a ese vocabulary que vimos. Mm -hmm. Well, it's officer. Hi. Las de jobs, las de los trabajos o profesiones. Ah, uh, usted dijo police officer, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. Perdone, yo la había escuchado mal hasta ahorita, voy cayendo. Y eso me dijo. Uh, but police officer, cashier, uh -huh. um, lawyer. Lawyer, excellent, Maybelline, very good. And let's listen to Silvia Flores. Aha, Silvia, tell me three jobs. Dígame tres profesiones o tres trabajos. De los que aprendimos ayer. Uh, Cashier, nurse, 
Sail. Pilo. 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 Excellent. Very good. Very good. Sí, miren, fíjense que con este vocabulario, yo no sé si a ustedes les, les pasó con anterioridad en algún momento de la vida, que la marca del plumón dice pilot, right? Entonces mucha gente consideró en aquel entonces, hoy no sé si todavía la gente piensa eso, que plumón se decía pilot, cuando plumón es marker, right? Entonces al ver esta palabra y ver que pilot significa eh, piloto, <ríe> cambia nuestra mentalidad, right? Porque así es, esa era la marca del plumón y mucha gente decía, pásame el pilot o dame un pilot y nada que ver, all right? So I'm letting you know this just in case that happened to you. Now, everybody, let's move on. Como tenemos nuevos integrantes que no habían estado en otras clases, vamos a ponerlos a practicar a ellos con el vocabulary. Vamos a iniciar. Voy a decir primero yo el vocabulary, all right? Después de esto, vamos a movernos a otro Hello, tema. Teacher. Hello, Lorena. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's get started. Entonces, voy a decir yo este vocabulary y luego voy a poner a los, a los nuevos integrantes que tenemos, que no se conectaron ayer, a que me lo digan. Entonces, tenemos cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, no es musician, no me digan musician, es musician. All right. Uh, then we have nurse, then pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson. Recuerden, esa E no suena. No decimos sales, decimos salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. All right. Now let's go with, vamos a iniciar con Juan Diego. Okay, Diego, dígame el vocabulary, please. Me? Yes, you. Uh, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant, uh, judge. Judge. Judge, uh, liar, musician. Nurse, pilot, police officer, uh, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, and waiter and waitress. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. Very good. Ahora vamos con Jonathan Burgos. Action, Jonathan. Usher, cook, or chef. Doctor, fly attendant, Josh, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, uh, security work, singer, waiter, waitress. All right, excellent. Jonathan, repeat after me. Pilot. Pilot. Mm -hmm, excellent. Very good, sir. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Vamos con... A ver quién es más en falta. Bueno, Héctor dice que no puede pasar. Vamos a ver. Ah, sí. Vanessa Bermúdez, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Ok. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly at attendant. Jodka, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. All right, repeat after me, salesperson. Salesperson. Excellent, very good. La E no suena como suena usualmente la E en español. Right? Solo decimos salesperson. Excellent, Vanessa. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the next one, everybody. Yesterday, we were practicing with the jobs. Ayer practicábamos con los trabajos, pero también decíamos que como cada persona eh, tiene un lugar a donde emplea su trabajo y también las actividades que ellos hacen. So, let's get started. Vamos a pedirle 
Uh, Kenia Cordera, que por favor nos lea el vocabulario de places y activities. Please. Ok. Uh, places in a, in a hospital, in an in a office, in a store, in an auto. Uh, activities where a uh, uniform sits uh, all day, uh, talks to people, works hard, uh, stands all day, uh, handles, handles money, works at night, writes uh, tickets. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's go with Jonathan Burgos. After Jonathan, Vanessa Bermudez. Place is in an hospital, in an office, in a store, in an hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works a night, writes tickets. Excellent, Mr. Burgos, very good. Now, everybody, before passing to Vanessa, antes de pasar a Vanessa y Juan Diego, que son los que nos faltan, eh, vamos a ver, hay una palabra que lleva S, y en este caso es places, porque it's plural, right? Está en plural, entonces esa S suena places, y de ahí usted ya inicia, in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, all right? Let's go with Vanessa, after Vanessa, Juan Diego. Ok, siempre en las places, también las activities. Yes, please. Okay. Places, in a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel, activities. Wears an uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works, works hard, stands all day, heartless money, works at night, Right tickets. Excellent. Very good, Vanessa. Y muy bien pronunciadas esas S. All right. Now, repeat after me, Vanessa. Repeat después de mí. Handles money. Handles money. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's go with Mr. Calderon. Please, action. Places in a hospital, uh, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform, sits all day, talks the people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Excellent, very good. Now everybody, with this we finish the pronunciation and the vocabulary. I hope, yo espero que todos nos recordemos de este vocabulary tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night. Now, let's move on to another topic, a pretty interesting topic, yo. Un tema súper interesante porque a veces podemos pensar que la pronunciación de las sentences puede ir despacio. A veces hemos not eh, podemos notar que decimos, where do you work? Okay? Entonces ya podemos empezar a hacer el esfuerzo a leer un poquito de corrido algunas phrases, right? Algunas frases, no todas, porque eso hasta a los natives podría llegar a costarles en algún momento hablar rápido, right? So let's check this one. Pronunciation, reduction of do and does. Una reducción o disminución que se hace entre do y el does, right? Con el sujeto. For example, where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? All right? Unen el do o el does, dependiendo del subject que tienen, del sujeto, lo unen, all right? Y hacen una sola, eh, una sola pronunciation. Do you, do you, does he, does he, do they, do they, all right? Así es como suenan ya juntos. Now, We're going to get to the part in which you are going to practice. Vamos a llegar a la próxima slide donde ustedes practican, ¿ok? Primero, yo lo voy a hacer. Escuchen cuidadosamente. Y después van a pasar todos. 
¿Sí? Esto es un ejercicio súper especial, súper genial, porque nos ayuda a soltar mejor la lengua. Practice time. Where do you work? Así suena de la manera de espacio. La reduction es, where do you work? 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 Esta se repite dos veces. Usted al momento de pasar, ustedes si la repite dos veces o solo la hace una vez. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? All right. Miren, de tanto decirlo, a veces se nos puede trabar la lengua, all right? And it's understandable. Y es completamente comprensible. A todos nos pasa en algún momento. Okay. Sobre todo decir todas esas sentencias de un solo corrido puede pasarnos, right? Ustedes no, no me ven, pero yo aquí estaba temblando que me iba a fallar la lengua. <laughs> All right. No, just kidding. Eh, in this case, you need to practice with both, right? Vamos a practicar con ambas. La manera lenta o larga y la contraction que tenemos o la reduction en todo caso. Ok. Now. And we're going to start with, vamos a iniciar con, vamos a iniciar con Fanny Asensio. Ok, Fanny, recuerde leer primero la, la que está de manera larga o lenta y luego donde está la reduction. Ok, practice time. Where you do work? Where you, where do you do work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does she work? No, where does he work? Lo que pasa es que el does está unido con el he. Ah, no lo veo. Ahí está. Where does he work? Where, where do, do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? Do, do you do? What does he do? What does she do? What do you they do? What do they do? Excellent. Thank you, Fanny. Very good. Now, everybody, let me tell you something. ¿Por qué es importante esto, teacher? ¿O por qué hasta cierto punto es imprescindible que lo aprendamos? Porque <coughs> al hablar ustedes con alguien que ya no sea un learner, sino que ya es una persona que maneja completamente el idioma, puede ser un native speaker, un nativo, un hablante nativo del idioma, o puede ser una persona que simplemente lo aprendió perfectamente, right? Usted va a sentir la necesidad de, de entender lo que esa persona dice cuando habla de corrido, right? No es solamente porque tengan que aprenderlo, sino que sí pasa en la vida real. Hay muchas personas, Native Americans, eh, nativos americanos, que su acento varía. Y muchas veces, si no prestamos atención a cómo hacen ellos esta reduction, no les vamos a entender lo que nos quieren decir. All right? Y se lo digo por experiencia propia. A mí me ha pasado cuando alguien tal vez de California o... Sí, de California, eh, habla de corrido que se, se pierde. Podrían pensar que no está pronunciando una palabra y si sí la está pronunciando solo que está haciendo una reduction all right those things happen esas cosas sí suceden in real life all right now let's check vamos con otra practicante o oh, oh, una persona no no se escucha igual Katia eso es lo que quiero que vayan practicando right aquí de este lado déjenme voy a sacar el puntero para aquí De este lado, eh, vamos lento, ¿ok? Where do you work? Pero aquí no, aquí hacemos la contraction. Where do you work? Where do you work? La lengua, muchos se enreda, muchos se dobla. Es, es la práctica de la lengua más que todo. Where do you work? Where do you work? All right? Eh, where, does he, where does he work? Where does he work? Ya no decimos, where does he work? No, ya decimos, where does he work? Where does he work? 
Okay. Now let's go with Gavi Molina. Okay, action. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where where does work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? He do. He do. <laughs> what do they do? What do they do? Do. Excellent. Very good, Gabby. Thank you. Very good job. Now, everybody, another advice. Otra cosa que nos puede funcionar es hacer esto. Miren, do you, do you, do you. Unirlo un solo, right? Do you, do you, do you. Y de ahí, does he, does he, does he. Does he, does he, does he. Porque la contraction o la reduction está entre el do y el subject, o el does y el subject, right? Do they, do they, do they? Do you, do you, do you? En este caso es does he, does he, does he? And do they, do they, do they? All right. Eso nos va a ayudar a despejar la masa lengua. Now, let's go with the next one. Vamos con Samuel Flores. Luego de Samuel, eh, Marlon Escalante. Where do you, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do, does he work? Where do, where do they work? When do, when do you do? When does he do? When do they do? Where where do you work? Where do you work? Where does she work? Where do they work? When do you do? When when does she do? When do they do? All right, excellent, Samuel. Thank you for your effort. I appreciate that. Everybody, este no es does she, all right? Miren la sentence, okay? Veamos esta sentence. Aquí dice, where does he work? Como está contraído o como está reducido, parece she, pero no es she. Este es el does, y este es el he unido. Does he, does he, does, all right? Lo mismo es en esta otra sentence. Does he, does he, does he, does he. All right, very good. Let's go with Marlon. Well, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does he do? What do they do? Um, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does he do? What do they do? All right, excellent, Marlon, very good rhythm. Now, let's go with another one. Let's check, recordemos, la, la reduction se hace entre el do o el does y el sujeto. Vamos con eh, Katia Canjura, please. Luego de Katia iría Kenia Corvera. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do they work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do you the work? Where they do they? Uh, Where do they work? Do Where they, do they work? work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do you do they do? What do they do? All right, excellent. Thank All you, right. Katia. Very good job. Now let's go with Kenya. Let's listen okay. to Kenya. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh -huh. Where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do, do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do you, what do they do? What do they do? Excellent, very good, Kenya, good rhythm. Excellent. 
Rhythm es ritmo, ok, so very good. Llevan una buena eh, scale, una escala, right? Uh, recordando siempre que el do y el does van unidos con el subject, right? Very good, Kenya. Let's go with another one. Básicamente, miren lo que cambia. Porque podríamos pensar teacher, pero suenan lo mismo, teacher. <coughs> la diferencia no se nota mucho. La diferencia es que una básicamente va corrida y la otra no. All right? Así. Uh, siendo honesto, es basically that's the difference. Básicamente esa es la diferencia. Esta va despacio. Esta otra, la que aparece con estas rayitas rojas, va de corrida. All right? Eso entre más practiquen, eh, mejor les va a ir saliendo siempre. All right? Siempre hay algo que uno, aunque ya sepa el idioma, puede mejorar. Ok, very good. Now let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Después de Jonathan, Vanessa Bermúdez. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What do he do? What do he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Very good, Jonathan. Excellent rhythm. Let's go with Vanessa Bermuda. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Thank you, Vanessa. Very good job. Now, let's go with Juan Diego. Después de Juan Diego, Silvia Flores. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he do? He work. Where does he work? Uh, where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent, sir. Very good job. Good rhythm. Let's go with Silvia. Después de Silvia, Mabel and Cisneros. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does he do? What do they do? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do you do? What he what does he what do? What do they do? All right, excellent. Um hmm. creo que le hicieron falta algunas de la versión corrida, sí, obvia. All right, don't worry, it's okay. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Maybelline. Recordemos que tenemos que hacer las dos versiones, right? Two versions. The slow one and the faster one, right? Action, Maybelline. Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do you work? Oh, perdón. Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Thank you, Maybelline. Good rhythm. We're following. Excellent. Let's go with Karen Marisol. Luego de Karen, vamos a ir con. Um, let me check. ¿Quién me falta? Porque este exercise y todos, la mayoría tienen que practicarlo. Después de Karen va a ir. Y... Blanca Hernández, action Karen. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Thank you, Karen. Good rhythm. Let's go with Blanca Hernández. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does 
she work she work where do they work where do they do they work what do you do what do you do what do is do is what does what does he, he what do, does he do? What does she do? No, what, what does he do? Es la misma, solo que el does está unido con el he, por eso es que muchos me han tomado este does... como she, pero no es she. <laughs> what does he do? Uh -huh. Y what do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. Let me check. Blanquita, excellent. Now, everybody, as I told you at the beginning, como les mencionaba al principio. Sí, yo falto. <laughs> ah, Catherine. Okay, ya voy, Catherine. Siempre de practicar, all right? Vamos, Catherine. Action. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. Yes, very good job. Excellent. All right, guys. Now we got our practice time over here and we do and does and plus the subject. Now let's move on to the following. Ahora nos movemos a una conversation. Para seguir mejorando nuestra pronunciation y para que se nos vaya quedando en English, all right? Simple present WH questions. All right, let's pay attention to my pronunciation. Here we go. Vamos a ver. Eh, se las voy a hacer más grande, a ver si no se nula la pantalla. Ahí está. He works in a hotel. Ok, Rachel and Angela. Son los dos personajes que tenemos. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right. Now, eh, moral of the story. Moraleja de la este conversación. Este para arriba y le cayó en la cara. <laughs> exactly. Moraleja de la conversación. Nunca hablemos nada malo de nadie. All right. Porque ella estaba mencionando que no le gustaba su traba el trabajo. A su hermano no le gustaba mucho el trabajo por el manager. Y resulta ser que el manager era el hermano de su amiga. All right. Entonces quedó al descubierto. <laughs> Now, let's check the next one. Yes, yes, maybe. The plaza is in New York. Someday we'll be there. I will, I will be there. I hope so. All right. Now, let's go. Vamos a practicar, vamos a tener a Catherine Cativo en Maybelline Cisneros. Catherine, usted va a ser Rachel. Maybelline, usted va a ser Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel uh, to his a front desk agent how does how does he like it not very much he doesn't like the manager that's too bad what hotel does he work for the plaza that's funny my brother works the third too oh that's interesting what does he do actually he's the manager She's the Excellent. Manager. Very good job. <laughs> Both of you girls. Very good. Now let's check. Vamos a ver. Eh, Catherine, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Excellent. Very good. Interesting. Así, con confianza, Catherine. <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> Excellent. That's correct. Beautiful. Perfect. Now. Vamos con otra pair. Miren, notaron algo en la conversation. Yo noté que ellas dos supieron liberar más la lengua al momento de hacer las preguntas y las respuestas también. Así que sí nos funcionó el ejercicio anterior, right? 
Ese es el propósito, que vayamos soltando ya la lengua. Now, let's go with, eh, vamos con Samuel Isaac. Usted va a ser Rachel, Fanny Asensio, usted es Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother, my brother works in hotel to his iPhone desk, desk agent. How, you, how does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. That, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do what? What does what that perdón? What does, what does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Excellent. Very good job, you guys. Excellent. Now let's repeat some words that it might be difficult for us. Vamos a repetir algunas palabras que pudieron habernos costado, ¿ok? Y esto es para todos porque todo va a pasar. Ok, so let's pay attention. La primera es interesting. Recuerden también la pregunta, what does he do? Y la última es action. All right, action. Actually, action. Ok, this is for everybody. Now, let's go with Diego Calderón. Usted va a ser Angela, Vanessa Bermúdez. Usted es Rachel. Action. Where does your bro brother work? Your microphone, Diego. Ah, ya nos abandonó y se fue a comer. <risa> Vamos a buscarle a alguien más, Vanesita. Ok, Jonathan Burgos. Usted va a ser Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does she like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actual. Is the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, let's go with Karen Marisol. Ustedes, Rachel. Eh, vamos a ver. Blanca Hernández. Ustedes, Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? <laughs> In a uh, hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a he is a front desk agent. What do what does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Thank you. So, but what what hotel does? He worked for the plaza. Thanks for my brother's works the there too. First you, what does he do? Actual, he's the manager. Excellent, thank you. Okay, Blanquita, let the microphone open. Repeat after me. Deja el micrófono abierto y repite después de mí. Ok. Funny. 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 Ajá. Funny. 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 Solo fue la única, right? That I could notice. Right. Ok. 
Thank you, Blanca. Let's go with Gabriela Molina. You are Rachel, Marlon Escalante. You are Angela. Action. Where did your brother works? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. To his front desk, Angel. Who does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The place. That's funny. <laughs> My brother works uh, there too. Oh, ten? Interesting. What does he do? Uh, actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Very good job. Ah, huh, Marlon, you were laughing. Te quería reír, Marlon. Sí. Yeah, it's funny, though. Mire, cada vez que me toca dar este, este, este nivel y me encuentro con esta conversation, siempre me da risa. I can help. Siempre me río. All right. Now, let's go with Gabby. Gabby, repeat after me. That's... That's... Interesting. Interesting. Ajá. Ahora lea la oración entera. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Excellent. Thank you, Gabby. Very good job. Let's go with Kenya. Usted ya pasó. Eh, no, teacher. Okay, bye. Usted va a ser Rachel and Lorena. ¿Dónde está Lorena? Aquí está. Okay, Lorena. Usted va a ser Rachel. Action. Okay. Where does your brother work? Oh, perdón. Eh, ya iba a ser Rachel, ¿no? No, usted va a ser Angel. Ah, ok. Comencemos, entonces. Por... Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? it... No, very much. He does not like the manager. That's too bad, too bad. What hole does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works. The, oh. The, <laughs> me lo estaba comiendo, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Uh, Actually, pardon me. Actually, actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Very good job. Yay! Excellent. Very good, girls. Now, I like the way and uh, the rhythm that you take, girls. All right. Me gustó mucho el ritmo que llevaron. Right. Así, miren, yo sé que vienen cansados, algunos trabajan. All right. Yo también les cuento. Yo también trabajo todo el día, de siete hasta diez de la noche. Okay. Entonces comprendo que vengan cansados, right? Pero tenemos que hacer ese esfuerzo por darle la intonation a la conversation, all right? Por darle ese énfasis. Usualmente considero que algunos salvadoreños a veces sonamos siempre así. Nuestra voz, o sea, tiene un solo ritmo de voz, right? No se, no, a veces no se nos siente si estamos contentos o si estamos tristes. Entonces, con el inglés sí hay que hacer esas diferencias, right? Así que sentí muy bien, muy buen red, buena esta conversation. Excellent. Now, let's go with another pair. Vamos con otra pareja. Vamos con eh, Silvia Flores. Usted va a ser Rachel. Katia Cangura, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No, no. Ok, usted va a ser Angel. Action, Silvia. Okay. Where does your brother In a horror. Oh, really? My brother works in a horror too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. Where horror does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works they, there's two. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oh, no. 
Excellent. Very good job. Eh, Katia and Silvia. Very good. All right. Miren, estoy haciendo un esfuerzo increíble por no ver sus nombres, sino que ya memorizarme las voces y decirles así. Por eso a veces cierro los ojos para decirles los nombres, ¿ok? Porque me los quiero aprender todos. Very good. Y ya estoy reconociendo las voces de todos, las de la mayoría, basically. Ok, now let me just... Vamos a ver, entonces ya llegó Diego. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Diego, usted va a pasar con Carla Melissa. Diego, usted va a ser Rachel. Carla Melissa, usted va a ser Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? Vamos a ver si le funciona el audio a Carlita. No, it's not working. Ok, uh, ¿hay alguien más que me haga falta? Porque si no, porque si no practico yo con Diego. All right. In order. All right. Ah, pues sí, sí le funciona. Llegó después el audio, ¿verdad? Ok. Continue, Diego. Ok. Um, oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a, he's a front desk agent. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice with you, Diego, all right? Now, okay. eh, Diego, yo voy a ser Rachel, usted va a ser Angela, all right? Okay. Ah, porque hay una palabra que quiero hacer énfasis ahí, en Rachel. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does uh, he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's a manager. Girl, <laughs> excellent. Very good job, Diego. Thank you. Now, let me. Okay, okay. Now, everybody, let's go to this one. Simple present WH questions. Let's check. What do we have? Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. Recuerden, cuando aparece la I en capital, en mayúscula, y el apóstrofe M se pronuncia I'm. All right. I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waiters. Um, how do they, how do they like it? They hate it, All right? Now let's go with, necesito un voluntario que quiera participar conmigo, okay? Yo voy a preguntar, esa persona va a decir la respuesta. Me. Excellent, Karen, very good, bye. How do they work? No, where do they work? In a restaurant. Oh, aquí, aquí, Karen, in a hospital. In a hospital. <laughs> what do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? <laughs> What do you do? What do you do? Uh-huh, Karen. Where do you work? Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. Excellent. Very good, Karen. Thank you, right? As a rhythm, quiero que tengan todos con las preguntas, okay? Please, let's make a big effort. Yo sé que es un gran esfuerzo tratar de eh, mantener un, un, ¿cómo se dice? Una entonación así como que estamos contentos, ¿all right? Pero hay que hacerlo, ¿ok? 
Now, let's go with Gabriela Molina. Usted pregunta, Lorena Álvarez, usted contesta. Todas estas questions, please, action. Where do you work? Oh. Um, in a hospital. What do you do? I'm not a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do you... Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? What, no, they what do they do? <laughs> <laughs> what do they, they, they do? Like it. How do they like it? They hate it. It's... Okay, repeat, Lorena. They hate it. They hate it. Excellent. Thank you, girls, for a good job. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Ya ven, como mejora siempre la pronunciation. Excellent. Now, let's go. Ahora vamos con otra pareja. Eh, vamos a tener a Fanny. Fanny, usted contesta. Marlon Escalante, usted pregunta. Okay, action. Where do you work? In a, hospi in a hospital. What do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. Who does he like it? It's okay. Where they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. They're waiters. 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 They wait. It. Who do do they like it? They hate it. Hate. Excellent. Hate it. Yes. Hate All it. right. Excellent. Very good job. Excellent, thank you, guys. Now, let's go to the next one. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Samuel Flores, usted pregunta. Vanessa Bermúdez, usted contesta. Action. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you, do you do? I'm a doctor. How oh, do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How oh, does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They... They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate. They hate it. Oh. Excellent. Repeat, Vanessa. They hate it. They hate it. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, y'all. Listen up, my dear students. Okay, miren. Hay muchísimas palabras en inglés que ustedes se van a ir dando cuenta que a veces suenan unidas con otra un solo. Ese es el caso de esta palabra. They hate it. Right? No decimos hate it porque si no nos costaría mucho. Usualmente los, las personas de England, I mean English or British, all right? los británicos o los ingleses, ellos dicen they hate it. All right? Pero es por el acento que ellos tienen. Como nosotros estamos con el acento norteamericano, all right? con el inglés norteamericano, perdón. Entonces decimos they hate it. They hate it. All right? Hate it, hate it, hate it. Unamos esa frase, okay? Now, let's go with the next one. Uh, let me have, vamos con Kenia Corvera. Usted va a trabajar con, vamos a ver, con Jonathan Burgos. Okay, Kenia, usted pregunta, Jonathan, usted contesta. Okay. Where do you work? In a hospital, sorry, in a hospital. What do you do? I am doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. 
How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? Hating. All right, excellent. Thank you, Kenya and Mr. Burgos. Very good job. Excellent rhythm and also pronunciation. Now, everybody, let's move on to the last thing from this class, okay? WH questions and structure. Esto todos lo tienen que copiar, okay? WH questions and structure. Puede ser que mañana les pregunte por esta estructura. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Question mark. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Right? Now, let's check this one. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Vamos a pedirle a... Sí, Maybelline, por favor, léame la estructura y las dos sentences, please. WH work plus do or does plus subject plus complement. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Excellent. Thank you, Maybelline. All right, everybody, listen up. I hope you will be able to practice today. Espero que puedan eh, practicar esta noche, right? Aunque sea un poquito en la platform <coughs> para que avancemos. Y eh, mi, bueno, a estas alturas ya todos tendrían que haber terminado la unidad 1 y 2, la lección 1 y 2. Perdón, sección 1 y 2, right? Porque esta semana solo vamos a trabajar la 3 completamente e iniciar la 4, right? All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class. Esto ha sido todo por la clase de ahora. It has been a pleasure, ha sido un placer, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Sure. Good, good night. night. Have a good night. Take care, y'all. Bye, good night.